What's up, everybody? Welcome to Talk Wrestling here on NoDQ.com and, of course, YouTube.com slash NoDQCW. Today, I'm going to deviate from the path a little bit. I'm not going to talk about WWE or TNA. I'm going to talk about Ring of Honor and what's going to happen for them in the next few months because, for those of you that have been living under a rock or don't follow The Observer or follow NoDQ.com, Ring of Honor is losing their TV deal as of, um, as of April, which means their TV taping coming up on the 21st, 22nd of this month is it. They're going to take their last episodes of the HD Net show, and then that's going to be it. So everybody's been asking me, what does the future hold for Ring of Honor? What's going to happen there? I was talking with a bunch of fans on Skype, and they told me that the TV deal was done, and I was flabbergasted. I couldn't believe it, but, you know, this could be either the greatest thing to ever happen to Ring of Honor or the worst thing. It all depends what you look at. Um... They've been really cooking ever since they got that TV deal. They've, you talked about the TV title being debuted with Daniels currently holding it. Eddie Edwards was the first champion. The tag championships um, changing hands on that show. Um, I believe the Kings Wrestling Champions are now. Don't quote me. Uh, and, of course, you have uh, Roddy Strong as their World Heavyweight Champion. The Ring of Honor World... Not World Heavyweight. They call it Ring of Honor World Title. It's not Heavyweight because anybody can hold that championship. Um... It'll be a bummer if Ring of Honor goes away as a TV presence altogether because they are a great, they, they do a great program. Granted, it is still a indie fed. Granted, it is still a, you know, a, you know, one hour television show every week on HDNet, which nobody gets on TV except for a select few, unfortunately. Um, personally, if Ring of Honor wants to succeed and survive and even thrive, they need to get a TV deal with a major cable provider. I'm talking about like a cable channel. Excuse me. I'm talking about like one of the big, the big cable ones that WWE or TNA has not uh, garnered yet. Um, Ring of Honor has been a tremendous product. Ring of Honor has a great talent roster. Ring of Honor has great creative stuff behind them, and they are just awesome, 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 awesome. And yes, that's my favorite word because of the Miz. What's not awesome is dogs. You know how much dogs piss me off in this world? Dogs are obnoxious creatures, the little, especially the little bitty ones. I love my dogs, but the little bitty ones need to just be kicked in the head. And that's just animal cruelty. I don't care. Because those dogs are obnoxious. They ruin my show. Bastards. Anyway. Ring of Honor um, needs to get on TV somehow and get a deal quick. Quick, quick, quick. Because they only have three months now. April 4th is the last Ring of Honor and HD net, and they have to do something quickly and thoroughly and swiftly, which is all the same thing. Um, I hope they get a TV deal. I hope that Ring of Honor can continue to succeed and move upward and, you know, make TNA go, oh my god, they're going to catch us, because let's face it, if Ring of Honor was on regular TV and had a decent deal, TNA would be shaking in their freaking 1.0 boots right now. They would. They'd be scared to death. But because Ring of Honor is carried by so few markets, they don't care. And it's bogus. And Ring of Honor has been the best TV product I've seen out there in recent memory. You know, again, you've got you know the great champions. You've got uh, El Generico who had a tryout with TNA. That's how big an impact Ring of Honor has. El Generico, one of the biggest stars, had a tryout with TNA. You know, as did T.J. Perkins. T.J. Perkins has been you know in and out of various indie feds across the country. Boyfriend to a dear, dear friend of mine, my little sis. Uh, TJ is awesome, too. It'd be good to see him in TNA if Ring of Honor doesn't pick him up. Um, you know, the war with Generico and Steam last year. Uh, the battles over the championship with Tyler Black and Roddy Strong and you know, Davey Richard and all those guys. Just a great, great set of things that are happening. Hopefully they can pick up a TV deal. Hopefully they can continue to thrive and survive and all that happy stuff. What do you guys think? Is Ring of Honor doomed? Are they going to continue? Let me know. We'll see you next time. <laughs>